Hi everybody, Jacob Reed here from ReviewEcon.com. Today we're going over the 2023 microeconomics exam. This is question number two from set two. In order to do well on this question, you should be through unit five. If after watching this video, you still need a little more help, head over to ReviewEcon.com and pick up the total review booklet. It has everything you need to know to ace your microeconomics and macroeconomics exam. Let's get into it. Now this question starts off with a company called Keep Dry. They sell rain jackets in a perfectly competitive product market. The price of their rain jackets is $5. They hire all workers in a perfectly competitive market also, and their wage rate is $15. We are also told labor is the only variable input, and we have a production function that shows the production. For part A, we have to calculate the marginal revenue product of the second worker and show our work. Remember, marginal revenue product is the marginal product times the marginal revenue. Marginal product is the change in total product. We can see that hiring the second worker changes the quantity of output from nine units of output up to 20 units of output. The difference between the two is 11 units of marginal product. The marginal revenue here is going to be the price, and that's because price and marginal revenue are equal for perfectly competitive firms. So we're going to take those 11 units of marginal product, multiply it by the price of $5, and that gives us $55 worth of marginal revenue product for that second worker. And if you have that math shown, you get your first point. For part B, we are asked on which worker does diminishing returns set in. In order to figure this out, we have to first calculate the marginal product of each of those workers on that table. And we need to know that diminishing marginal returns sets in on the first worker where marginal product falls. We can see on that table the marginal product for the first worker is 9, it's 11 for the second worker, and it's down to 7 on the third worker. Since the third worker is the first time we see our marginal product decrease, that means our answer here is the third worker. And if you state that, you get your next point. For part C, we have to determine what the profit maximizing number of workers this firm should hire, and we have to explain using marginal analysis. Remember, marginal analysis means we're going to be comparing marginal costs and marginal benefits, and when it comes to hiring labor, the marginal revenue product is the marginal benefit, and the marginal resource or factor cost is the marginal cost. So this firm should hire as long as the marginal revenue product is greater than or equal to the marginal resource cost. Those are our marginal product numbers that we had from earlier. If we multiply them by the price or marginal revenue, that gives us the marginal revenue product here for this column. And remember, the marginal resource cost is the wage in this case of $15. So this firm will keep hiring workers as long as the marginal revenue product is greater than or equal to $15. That means this firm is going to hire four workers. And that's because the marginal revenue product of $25 is greater than the marginal resource cost of $15 for that fourth worker, but the marginal revenue product of $10 is less than the marginal resource cost of $15 for the fifth worker. In order to get marginal analysis points, you have to both explain why the unit you picked is best and why the following unit would not be best. So for this question, you have to talk about both the fourth worker and the fifth worker to get this point. For part D, we are told that Keep Dry's fixed cost is $40, and we have to calculate the economic profit when they hire the profit maximizing number of workers. And once again, we have to show our work. Now there are consistency points here, so if you didn't pick four workers on your previous answer, you could still get this point by calculating it correctly. But my answer here is going to be based on the correct answer of four workers. Remember, profit is the total revenue minus both fixed costs and minus variable costs. This firm's total revenue is the 32 units produced by four workers times the $5 price, which is $160 of total revenue. Our fixed costs are $40, as it tells us in the stem of the question, and the variable cost is four workers times the $15 wage, and that is $60 of variable cost. That means we can calculate our profit with $160 minus $40 minus $60 equals $60 worth of economic profit. And if you have that work shown, you get your next point. For part D, we are told Keep Dry's fixed costs increase to $80. And we are asked if the profit maximizing number of workers will increase, decrease, or stay the same. And we have to explain. And remember, you always hire until the marginal revenue product equals the marginal resource cost. But the marginal revenue product of these workers didn't change, nor did the marginal resource cost. And that leads us to our answer here, stay the same because changing the fixed cost does not impact marginal revenue product or marginal resource cost of keep dry's workers and if you have that answer you get your last point point. and there you have it those are the answers to the 2023 microeconomics exam set two question number two if you still need more help head over to reviewecon.com and pick up the total review booklet that's it for now i'll see you all next time